All right. You did not destroy your eyes. I did. Hello everyone. In today's video, we'll be showing you our vegan lasagna recipe. We <clears throat> pre-boiled. What's three times three? We boiled nine strips of lasagna pasta. We just used any kind of lasagna pasta. This one was the Winkle brand, I believe. Um, you can use any kind. Just read the ingredients and make sure that there's no eggs, milk, honey. Most pastas are actually accidentally vegan, so it shouldn't be too hard to find vegan lasagna or accidentally vegan lasagna pasta. For my vegan lasagna pasta recipe, I usually use oregano leaves, garlic salt, um, avocado oil, nutritional yeast, Daya mozzarella cheese, Light Life Smart Ground Beef. So they sell these vegan meat crumbles at Ralph's. That's where I found these. It's kind of like a taco meat. They sell different flavors. I got the Mexican crumble flavor for this one. They also sell like barbecue, mm -hmm. I think. Uh, we also make our own sauce for this lasagna. You could buy, buy any kind of tomato sauce from the store and use that. But we like to make it like a chipotle flavor. So we use two tomato sauce boxes for one chipotle pepper can. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is make the chipotle sauce. So you could use any kind of blender. I'm just going to use this little cup blender thing. Can you give me a metal spoon? Yeah. Please. So I'm done making my chipotle salsa. Now I'm going to spritz the bottom of a lasagna pan with avocado oil. And now I'm going to add a few spoonfuls of this uh, tomato sauce, tomato chipotle sauce that I made here, just to kind of cover the bottom of the pan. So I just coated the bottom of the pan with my little chipotle sauce, tomato sauce. Now I'm going to dump the rest of it into a metal mixing bowl. I'm adding one fourth of a teaspoon of oregano to the mixing bowl. Is that how you say it? Oregano? Oregano. Oregano. Um, now I'm going to add one teaspoon of garlic salt. Okay. We're adding like half a cup of artichoke hearts, and honestly, we usually do more than that, but um, we're dum dums and we didn't buy more at the grocery store, so we're just gonna add what we have. Do you wanna dump that in there, please? Yeah. So, this is what the beef crumbles look like, and we're gonna add exactly half of the package to the mixing bowl. Now, I'm adding one teaspoon of nutritional yeast, big teaspoon because I like this stuff. So we're just mashing up the vegan meat and mixing it with the ingredients that are in the bowl. So now I'm adding about three cups of spinach leaves. So I'm going to end up using pretty much the whole pack of cheese, but what? Nothing. It was making fun of me. Cute. Um, <laughs> So I'm just going to add like maybe half of the bag to the mixing bowl right now. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and lay the pasta down with, uh, and remember we already have the pan already sauced and oiled up. I'm just going to go ahead and put a layer of pasta. So this is what it looks like, just one layer, nothing nothing special. Right. So after I lay down a layer of pasta, I'm going to go ahead and put a layer of um, the mixture. The mixture. Okay, so I went ahead and I put one layer, and now it's ready to put another layer of pasta right over it. So I'm just going to cover the last layer with pasta 
and then after this layer I will put on a little more sauce and then add the cheese. Okay, so this is the finished uh, product before we actually start cooking it. So we're just going to put place it in the oven for about 15 minutes at 400, 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So this is the final result. I hope you guys like this video and I hope you have fun making your own vegan lasagna.